or Cha, where the Ram Raja Temple is situated, is in the northern part of the state of Madhya Pradesh, in the central region of India. The town is steeped in history and is famous for its palaces and temples, built in the 16th and 17th centuries. It is a sacred Hindu pilgrimage, and receives devotees in large numbers regularly. Ram Raja Temple is the only place where Lord Sri Ram is worshipped both as a god and a king. The grand peach-tinted building with domes, was once the palace of Queen Ganesh Kumari. The wife of King Madhukar Shah, the ruler of Orcha. The queen was a devotee of Lord Rama and wanted his idol to be installed in her palace. It is believed that Lord Rama was pleased with her prayers, and agreed to come to Orcha with her. According to beliefs, Lord Ram said that he would not move from one temple to another and would always remain in the place where she would initially house the idol. Thus, the palace was later turned into a temple of the Lord. Raja Mahal was built during the 17th century. The palace is constructed beautifully with impeccable architecture. Resided by the erstwhile kings of Orcha, the palace has kept the soul of the India's most eminent royalty intact through all these years. Chaturbhuj Temple is a beautiful temple dominates the town of Orcha with its shikaras, spires, soaring into the sky. Built on a 4.5 meters high platform, a flight of stairs leads to the main temple. It is said that this is where an idol of Lord Rama was originally supposed to be enshrined. Failing to do so, King Madhukar, who was the then ruler of Orcha, decided to place an idol of Lord Vishnu here. The word Chaturbhuj literally means one who has four arms, and refers to Lord Rama, who is believed to be an incarnation of Lord Vishnu. The Lakshmi Narayan temple is dedicated to Goddess Lakshmi, the goddess of wealth and prosperity. Its structure exemplifies a unique blend of temple and fort architecture. The notable aspects of the temple are the carvings on the central dome and ornately carved pillars on the corners. Its well-preserved frescoes portray an amalgamation of mogul and bundle candy art and the carvings on the inside depict the life of Lord Krishna. There is no idol of the goddess inside the temple. Jahangir Mahal is a classic example of Mughal architecture. The gates are large enough to allow entry of war elephants. Also, the relatively higher position compared to surrounding area made this palace a very important palace. Chatris, cenotaphs, are situated on the banks of Betwa River. Chatris is a set of magnificent royal tombs of the Maharajas, placed on a platform and supported by the pillars. The charm of Chatris is best experienced and it is viewed from a narrow bridge on the opposite side of the river, from where the entire reflection of the tombs can be seen. The best time to visit Urcha is between October and March. Thank you.